Oh man, dude, How I you almost killed myself. Why didn't you tell me there's damage when you jump from high places? Right. Dude, I wish it was crossplay, man. That's so exciting that PlayStation's doing that now. Because that means one day we'll be able to kill my buddy and his friends. Well, when Call of Duty comes out, we can. Absolutely. Well, you're not probably not going to get it, but... I, I might get it. I don't think they play those games. They're more like Rainbow Six snobs. I told you that. I'm telling you, man. You put me in there crossplay with their controllers and, and my keyboard and mouse, and we're winning that game. But I, I got to assemble my team, though. I just heard the other guy. What'd he say? <laughs> he was just like, whoo! <laughs> I was never a big nine inch nails fan. Uh, me either. I, I love Tool, are. though. I. Did you listen to their new album? I heard it was really good. My buddy's having me to listen to it. Uh, Is it good? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't I've never listened to Tool ever. Really? So, I yeah. knew that was going to happen, dude. What'd you do? <laughs> I knew that I was going to jump, <laughs> and I didn't jump far enough that I was going to die. <laughs> I've never listened to Tool. Not a, Why not? I don't know. I've never even really heard of Tool until they were on Rogan. Really? Yeah. I'm not a big music guy. You know that. What the? I didn't know that, dude. I thought you... What, what's going on here? I... You got to jump oh, up and over, and then you got to slide under. Or or just run straight through it. That works. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now there's a fall puzzle here. Oh, okay. I'll catch you. You didn't fall anywhere. I got you. You know, I don't really listen to music in the car. Uh, what, do you I talk to yourself? No, I listen to podcasts. Hey, we really are friends, dude. I actually, I'm really big on podcasts. I listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen to a lot of Fox News commentary. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Uh, and that's why uh, I want to announce to everyone right here, welcome to Talking <laughs> With A Dad, the podcast version of this, uh, of this show. It's going to be available on iTunes, Spotify... Uh, Google Play, uh, Hulu, uh, we're in negotiations with Amazon Prime, and uh, it's going to be on Disney+. Dude, Plus. Be, be honest with people, they actually asked us never to call them again. There's actually a restraining order. All of those know. stations. <laughs> all of those stations definitely asked us to never, never call back. Uh, I've been banned from iTunes. I can't even have an iTunes account anymore. It's, it's an awkward relationship. But, you know, I'm, I'm not, feeling, happen. not feeling the iPhone 11. Gotta be honest. Uh, well, because we're both smart people and have Androids, so. I can't wait till I paid off this phone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy, guy. I have two more payments on mine. Really? You just yeah. got that phone, didn't you? Yeah, oh, I got it for I got it for a good price. Oh, okay. Well, I was like, are you one of those aggressive payers? I do pay really more good. than what I have to, for sure. Well, that's very responsible of you. Yeah. I try. I don't think they do that are okay. <laughs> We're entering the warp gate, Stevie. Ah! <laughs> are you down? <laughs> yeah, please don't take me off. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> are you down again? What happened, dude? <laughs> this, this guy's like, noob. <laughs> <sighs> oh. I'm fairly uh, confident that, like, once we get a little bit of traction on this channel, it's going to blow up. I actually really like the content. Like, I would watch the content if I wasn't a part of it type of situation. Oh, yeah. Dude, at some point, they're going to ask us to move to the 100 Thieves house. It's going to get so good. That's not... No. Why? That's not going to happen? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a you different kind of content, dude. You don't, you don't want to hang out with Valkyrie? You seem like you would want to hang out with her. Uh, I don't know much about her. Um, I know a lot about Nate Shot because I've watched Optic for years, and you know, obviously, he was a huge part of growing Optic to what it is. But oh, you know who I'm really into now, man? You uh, that one guy, uh, Hex or whatever, Hector, whatever. Yeah, Hector, dude. Yeah, yeah, I, I like his Hex, channel, man. man. I love Hex. Hex is such a cool guy. Have you listened to his podcast? No, I, uh, send me the link and I'll check it out. But I yeah, so he has two of them. He is the Eavesdrop I podcast. Eavesdrop is a perk in Call of Duty Four. That's what it's named <laughs> after, right? And then he has the 600 second podcast, which is the secondary podcast to that where he asks someone and they just talk for 10 minutes. They talk for 10 minutes and he asks them about like, you know, stuff going on in their life and then just like different random questions. It's uh, it's really good. Yeah, I'm into that. I'm, I like watching the videos of them getting ready for COD. Yeah, dude, uh, like I, team. I love Hacks, man. I've been watching Optic for a decade. 
and then obviously the whole optic situation happened and now i'm watching nrg apparently so oh yeah i saw what you said uh, with the whole thing with him putting on the hoodie at the end yeah. Dude, that was that was amazing right he announces that he's going and, and going to become a CEO of another team. He's been part of. He is Optic, right? He's the reason why Optic is as big as it is. Uh, and then he announces that he's going to another team, and he doesn't even mention the name of the other team. He doesn't really mention uh, anything. He just puts the hoodie on at the end of the video, and it's like, oh, this is Thank what you. he's doing. Now, who is it? So wait, give me a little back his backstory on the new team. I don't know who it is. Oh, so this it's, is like a brand new thing. Uh, well, with the franchising, yes. But uh, energy is is a thing or was a thing, and it, it came from a different team. It's Chicago-based, which is where ah! Hex is from. Oh, man, Steve is doing great. Uh, man, it's going to be hard to get back to you, dude. I'm just going to keep going forward, and you, you'll respond with us eventually. Uh, so I'm not sure where the backing of NRG is from. I think it's another, like team that, that was a thing before maybe like a an eg or something but I, i'm not 100 percent positive of the entire backstory so uh all right here's I a died. really you down here's a yep. question that uh i just gotta ask and i'm not ashamed to sound like a noob on so uh -huh. how does it work with the streaming of that stuff are you gonna like watch it and is it something you can people commentate on what what is it what how's that work so, so you've never watched any professional video games right no yeah, the production I, quality on some of that stuff is way better than like some sports. So, yeah, dude, there's there's full teams of people and production teams and like sound guys and color commentary and play by play and yeah, dude, it, it's it's a whole thing. You know, like the UFC was very rudimentary at the beginning and now it's it's yeah. Logan and Anik arguing back and forth between each other. Yeah, <laughs> that's what gaming has become. It was very rudimentary, and you know, God people damn. like Fwiz and Maven and um, Courage, they laid the way for that. And now, like their production team is incredible, dude. If you didn't know Fwiz is uh, like maybe I still think one of the best uh, commentators for COD of all time, and he's now the head of Google Gaming. Oh, he hey. worked for MOG for a long time. He worked for uh, Machinima for a long time. Hey, let me ask you a question. Since you brought up Google Gaming, man, uh, a lot of people are speculating that Sony changed their uh, view on the crossplay situation because of Stadia, and that Microsoft and Sony are kind of in a well, just the council section are kind of in a survive mode because apparently it's getting a little bit more hype, or we'll have more traction than they thought it would. I don't know. I, I don't know the validity to that rumor. I guess it, I guess it makes sense. Sure, I can see that. But I, just... I I think it's Fortnite that did it. Let's be fair. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the most popular game of all? Four? Oh, was. Or yeah. Well, I, I mean, I don't think it ever surpassed League of Legends in total amount of people played. But the most popular game, right, for a while that had the most traction, the most household name, was Fortnite was a game that everyone could play on anything, including a Switch and your phone. Right. So everyone saw, hey, how the popular this is, and it was because, you know, like, I could be on my PC, you could be on your PlayStation, Shane could be on an Xbox, and Pete could be on a Switch, and we could all play in the same party. And we could all play in the same game, and we could all enjoy this game that was Fortnite, or is Fortnite, at the same time, no matter where we were in the world or what console or platform we were on. And that was why that game blew up, partially. And, and I think that's more or less why uh, we see <clears throat> Sony and uh, Microsoft going back on their words of, no, we're never going to be able to play together. That makes a lot of sense. You thought this too, man. That wasn't like a I've been waiting thousand. for you to ask me that question for years, Steve. <laughs> It just it just kind of makes sense. So what you're saying is we'll never play Anthem on this channel. I'm not even sure what it is, Steve. To be honest with you. I'm not even sure what it is. Enter the conduit! I'm not even sure what it is. That was a bold mood, Cotton. Let's see where it goes. Oh, man. Poor Daniel Cormier. 
He is the cotton of the UFC. Is he? No, that was Goldie, wasn't it? Goldie was more of the cotton. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in the Whoa! Bring out the big guns. And I'm dead. <laughs> I ran like a coward and I got what a coward deserved. I don't even think I can hit that dude behind this thing. You can't. There's other little minions that spawn. You see the like little white uh triangle on the map to the left of it? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta do this. So it is there's gonna be what it seems like to me right off the start is that there's uh phases of invulnerability. Uh and then once we get those down, we attack them for a little bit, and I wasted my uh super on him in the last one, and then he went invulnerable. So let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you were running and it just goes blink and then just murder you. So this is what years of video game knowledge gives you, even though I just died. Um, Definitely not humility, though, right? No, no. I'm the greatest <laughs> there ever was and there ever will be. Uh, I actually saw a really cool video that I actually should probably send to you if I could find it again. It was a guy who makes YouTube videos. He has a few hundred thousand subscribers. I forget his name, I'm sorry, dude. But he, his wife doesn't play games, but wanted to play, I think it was Shovel Knight or something, some like random indie game that's probably not fun for me. But she wanted to play, so he made a video out of it and, and basically a, a study uh, out of how she would take games and he made her play a bunch of different games. And it was interesting to see like things that I think are easy, right? Like, for example, you ask me in every game that we play, what button is to sprint, right? Right. It's always shift. It is gonna be shift, it is defaulted to shift in every single game. I know that because I've played, you know, 90 different games on my PC. So it's always that button. Jump is always on a controller. I don't have a controller here that I can look at. The, whatever the bottom one is, X. Jump is always right. X, right? You know that when you play a different game. Right. So she didn't know these things going into it. Yeah. You know, it took her longer to figure the things out. And, and you know, eventually she, she picked up on some of the, the similarities and controls between games. But that's the thing you get with gaming. Well, like I, I figured out how that invulnerability, invulnerability phase worked pretty easily because I've seen it in different games before. 62. I I'm beat the other guy. I'm a golden god. <laughs> <laughs> Most revives. I have the least energy weapon kills because I don't use it. You and that other guy equaled me. <laughs> see? You see what I did there? I brought it back like it was good for you, and then I tore it straight down. I tore it, it straight down. Made it good for me. Made it good for me. All right. Bring us back to the tower. I think this is a good place to end. I gotta say, uh, Destiny is uh, up there. Number one, beat out Borderlands. What one's at the bottom? Borderlands 2. You know what comes in second? I agree. You know what comes I 100% agree. Gears. So it's Borderlands 2, Borderlands 3, Gears this? Yes. You're racist against Borderlands because you don't like the the, text, the texturing. <laughs> you don't like... <laughs> it's true, dude. This is a great game. What did you expect, dude? This is a... This game is better than Borderlands. The market share agrees with me on that. So good news, everyone. Uh, hopefully we'll have uh, an Instagram page soon with some uh, nice uh, illustrations from uh, a good uh, yeah. someone in my uh, life. Did you, get that... the... did you get the picture I sent you? Yes, I got the picture. That was an amazing picture. Uh, the, our, the person we're going to commission for the art is uh, Cillian Perry. So uh, waiting for them to get back. Ooh, big name. Is it Banksy? Uh, no, he's in. London, I believe. Uh, he is English, and they have had a standing beef <laughs> for many they years. Have. <laughs> a long time. They're like, stop spraying graffiti everywhere. I mean, it's real cool, <laughs> and like, the stuff that you sell just sold for $10 million, but God, uh, please stop. Thank you, everyone, okay. for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and then leave us some comments. Leave us some feedback. We like to hear from, from the people watching. What are you guys liking? What are you guys, aren't you guys liking? Do you want to do like full gameplays do you want us to just upload one raw piece of that entire one of the entire strikes do you want to keep the conversation based stuff going do you want us to take the entire audio from this 
and upload it separately so you guys can listen to it in your car or while you sleep. I don't know what you guys do. People are doing things, that's for sure. It, and they always will be, Steve. And that's why it is important to remember gaming with a dad.